Welcome Jay, to the VIP section. Jay, baby, y'all. Shorty, cause you know I'm from the Ville, you know I always looked up to the nigga. But when we really connected, nigga, we rolled dice for 24 hours from the sun down to the sun up, nigga. You heard? Exactly. For no, I'm not over exaggerating. 24 hours. That's a fact, son. 24. Right in Yo. Right in Yo. Oh, right, right behind in the um behind the church. Yes. 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 That stay spot, 24 my hours, 24 bro. hours. They do it all day. And kiss don't let Yo, him that shit was crazy. Because he got the big bank. He don't yeah. let nobody leave. That shit was, <laughs> that shit was, that shit was legendary, bro. Did you watch radio? Shave baby. Yes, yes, yo, we are here with your man DJ Sus1, who got this record outside with my man Vidi on the beat. What's good, Sus? Yeah. I can tell it great, can't for- Oh yeah, for Capella too. I forgot about that. Yeah, first of all, before we talk about the record, I gotta say, I really respect this show because I've seen Tone and Shay from the bottom up, and now they got this popping radio show, show Shay Baby TV. You know what I'm saying? Tone's DJ. Oh, that's love, Tone. I ain't gonna lie, I thought he was gonna talk about the headlines. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I will. Make, I mean, you I will, make, I will make fun of your hairlines later offline. <laughs> offline, I will make fun of your hairlines. But right now, I want to give you guys your flowers. You guys are killing it with this Shay Baby. Radio on Digiwax Radio, Shade Baby TV on um, Digiwax Radio, so I just wanted to say salute. That's love. Nah, Yo, so I can't lie. One thing I do gotta admit, I got my little, but hanging out with Sus, that's where I got the little fake little radio voice from. Sus, hanging out with him. <laughs> Give it a, get out of bar, so He's here, Mr. Miyagi. That's it, yes. I learned a lot from you, Sus. I can't lie. You know, just going up to the station, you know, just, you know, being your friend and just hanging out with you and watching you just. Grow to that, just, the, just everything that you've done, sus, in them years. So I gotta say, I gotta give it to you. So we learned a lot from, you, right? So I'm working on my sus one. Yep, yep, <laughs> all of that. That's I'm what I'm saying. On. So man, first of all, you got it wrong. It's oh, <laughs> <laughs> facts. All right, so sus, working this record with Vinny, um, because we did get the chance to sit down with Vinny the first time and Capella, right, Tone? It's a fact. Yeah, so. Actually having you on the actual remix is actually crazy. It's actually not a remix. We we, we actually redid the original. So Capella and Vidi did this record a while ago. And, um, you know, they had a little bit of traction on it. And I, I really liked the record when I heard it. And we was going to collab on the record. Um, but then a lot of things happened in my life. But then me and Vidi had a conversation and we actually collabed on the record. I remixed it. I remastered it. I put my vocals at the beginning and the end. And then we re-released it. So it's not even a remix. It's just the regular version. That's crazy. You know what I like about it? It's 914. Yep. I know. It's 914. Shout out to um, Mount Vernon because Vinny and, um, and Capella Grace from Mount Vernon. Shout out to Rochelle, White Plains, Greenberg. Shout out to the whole 914. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why that's epic, Tony. It's 914. Are y'all going to shoot the video? We're thinking about it. We, we, we still got to talk about it. Of course, we want to shoot the video, but, you know, right now, we just, where I'm at mentally, I just want to get some traction and, and some legs on the record. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that's a hell of a, a, a lineup. So, Vidi, Sus, and Capella. I like the vibe. That's a it's lot of cool. females. Every- a lot of females in that video, right, Tom? Shout to um, Vidi. He produced the record, too. You know, Vidi's a very talented producer. Hell yeah. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? You know, Vidi's Pops was a producer also, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, now his Pops is... Uh, Funk Bigger. Funk Bigger. Yeah, yeah, he was he did the, He just did Pop Smoke Hit. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Tone, this is classic. So I, I can't believe we are actually, you know, at this point, like, what, maybe six months later, now having Sus on the record. Because when we heard the record, Tone, we said it was it. Sus takes it to the next level. And you know, let, you know, let me say this, too. The Michael McDonald sample is crazy. Most of us that was raised in the 90s know it from the Regulate with Nate Dogg and Warren G from the Above That's the That's what I soundtrack. was thinking, yeah. You, know what I'm you said Mike McDonald, I was thinking Earn Your Leisure. Nah, nah. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> no. See, Tone knows. Michael McDonald. Yeah, was, facts. Michael facts. McDonald was the original artist that had that record that sampled, so salute to that. 100%, 100%. Yeah, so Tone, um, let's get to that record, man. We're just thankful that we got Sus to come up here and break the record because the record's been out, what, maybe two or three days? Well, no, I actually released it at the end of December, but I've only been playing it for the past few days because, you know, the holidays, and gotcha. I, I went on tour with Mariah Carey, then I went on vacation. Now that I'm back, I'm focused, pushing this record. DJ Sus1 featuring video on the beat and Capella Gray. It's called Outside. Uh, very familiar sample. And by the way, guys, you got to be tuning in. Um, 
you know, the Digiwax Radio, the Shea Baby TV all the time. Because not just this record, they break an artist all the time. New talent all the time. I've learned about a lot of artists through these two fellas. So that's a fact. Sure you, you don't know it, yeah. but that was a drop. 100%. Hold on. Hold on. Before we get into the record, we, the, the people definitely want to know this. Real quick, two minutes. One minute actually can. How does it feel being back to normal life than actually being in front of millions of people and maybe two weeks and during Christmas, you would say so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are. I was Just every night being in front of 50,000, 30,000. How does it feel being back to normal life now after just every day having your life exposed? I like the two weeks. So we was, I went on a 16 um, show tour of Mariah Carey. I was mm-hmm. in front of 20,000 plus people every other day. And I love being on the road with Mariah, man. She's looked out for me. I love DJing in front of the crowd. Um, I was her opening act, by the way. Uh-huh. It wasn't just me, like, DJing on set with her. I was the opening act for a half hour, 45 minutes straight before she got on. And I love that life. I love yeah. traveling. I love DJing for the people. I like playing all different genres of music. Right. Hyping the people out, getting their energy right from Mariah, and just making people happy. But I also appreciate my house and being home. I was going to say that. I know I love, I love both lives. I love both yeah, lives. Yeah, because if you look at you on Instagram, you definitely, definitely show all the toys in the house. Like, listen, look, y'all. Watch how my wall just sl- moves up and down. Look how I can go in the basement from my bed. All that. Yeah, you know what I mean? For real, Tone. And watching them on the stories, you know, there's a lot of gadgets in the crib, right, Tone? I, lo- I love both lives. The basement is crazy. Both the lives. basement is crazy. You know what I like? You know what? I like the fireplace that lights up. Nigga got like nine fireplaces. We were about this. Nah, I only have one real fireplace. But the other <laughs> ones are, I like those artificial fireplaces. But like, but they fire. Yeah, but like I said, I like both lives. I like being on the road. <laughs> the fireplace like is fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, so, so, uh, you know, I got a question. I got a question. It's definitely uh, a topic in the streets. Definitely a topic in the streets. What's your opinion? Is Drake hip hop? Yeah, Drake is definitely hip hop. But Drake is more than hip hop. Um. Drake is hip hop. Drake is Afrobeat. Drake is pop. Drake is, you know, he's done Caribbean vibes. Is he hip hop at its purest form, the way most deaf would like him to be? No. But Drake definitely spits bars. He does great hip hop records. And you can't say he's not hip hop, but is he only hip hop? No. That's a fact. I, 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 is I, he hip hop in its purest form? No. I think hip hop hip hop is a as a as a genre full of haters. And hip hop has not hated him out the game. So if you can survive hip hop, then you just then you are hip hop. He survived. No, I can't lie, Toto. There was one night, and actually, this was the same night. I actually took a picture of of the Throwback Thursday real quickly. We get into the record. Throwback Thursday. I I put up a picture of me and Future. That was the day I met with Sus. Sus came to the house. He said, "Uh, let's go for a ride." Next thing I know, he was DJing that same night with Future. I said, "What the fuck, bro? Said, you didn't say we was doing this." <laughs> Next thing you know, we wound up with Future. But the name night, we went to Greenhouse. I think it was, and he did a party with Drake. When Drake's in the club tone, shit's different tone. They didn't even let dudes in, my nigga. I just, they like dude. If you was a dude, don't even turn back around. For real. I think Drake is just. He's been vocal saying he wants to be, even though I don't think anybody on planet Earth is compared to Michael Jackson, but he's been vocal saying that he wants to make hits. Yeah, he's like that. In different genres like Michael Jackson. So nah, he's, always, he's up there like that, right? So is he hip hop? Yes. When he when he does do hip hop, he's hip hop. But I think he he's, Drake is a bunch of different genres. That's what I think he is. He's not hip hop in his purest form because hip hop in his purest form doesn't allow you to do all those other things, right? But we're in a different yeah. generation. He is hip hop. He is pop. He is Afrobeat. He is Caribbean. He is R&B. He is a bunch of different genres in one. Okay, so real quick before we go, one last thing. Because you were, we're never definitely is hip hop. When do you ever get a chance to sit down with Sus? Because he's always on the road. Real quick, Tone. Because they never ask the DJs this. I want to hear this in the DJ's form. What's your top five hip hop list of all time? What, like rappers? Rappers of all time top yeah, five. Flexual. Sometimes, mm. I, sometimes I say different top fives than I did like a few months ago. So, but what I will say. Is my number one that's not here no more is the notorious B.I.G. I think who the greatest of all time who's a, who is still here, I, I think I would give it to Hole. Mm. Now, when we say top five, it fluctuates, bro, because sometimes I go from nah. It's a feeling, right? Like a different yeah. time. I feel you, Tony. That's true. Sometimes you'll be like, you be in the car, you'll be like, let's say you feel like listening to Rock Cam. You'll be like, oh, fuck, Rock Cam got to be in my top five. Yeah, because sometimes I'm Next like, week, you like, this nigga's trash. Sometimes I'm like, why is people not mentioning DMX in their top five? He lyrically was incredible. I know. He sold, he went multi-platinum twice in one year. 
he he was, did commercial, he did street, he did he lived in the clubs, he lived on the radio, he lived gospel all that. Yeah, all right. that. And you know, sometimes I'm like, there's people who I think deserve it that they don't mention a lot, like Slick Rick and Karis One. A lot of people mention Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is Drake in my top five? I don't know if I guess he's he's definitely top five artists, probably. Not he's not in my top five artists, honestly. But if we're talking about rappers, I can't say that because can he rap? Yes. Does he write? Yes. But we also know that he has had help on records that he was rapping on. And if you're gonna be on the lists, you're not supposed to have help. At least that's, that's the rules that I followed in the nineties, you know? That's a that's fact. That's a fact. Not, not taking away that he can write and he has written for people and he's nice with it. Yeah. But there are records that he was successful with that he has had help. 100%. Yeah. Damn, so we could go on for hours. We got to remember who we talked well, to. We gotta, so he did radio for years. Let, let me just introduce the record because I know you guys are yes. short on time. Um, by the way, this is Shea Baby TV, Tone VIP, and Shea Baby. DJ Suss won the feature presentation. I'm in the building. This is my new record right here. Um, featuring Capella Gray and Biggie on the beat. It's called Outside. All right, let's get it. Did you ask radio? Yes, sir.